need to clear a path! Go! I'll cover you! No, you were right. The Grey Wardens caused this. A Warden must... A Warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Borg. Say goodbye to Varric for me. Spider. Always the maker down. <laughs> the nightmare banished, Corypheus lost both his warden mages and his demon army. But in the stories your soldiers will tell, their inquisitor broke the spell with the Maker's blessing. Once they understand what really happened, they will be terrified. Let them have the stories. Inquisitor, the archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clorel's tragic mistake. Where's Hawk? Where's Hawk? Orc sacrificed his life to save us and strike a decisive blow against Corypheus. Well? Varric, I'm... He gave his life, not because he'd sworn an oath or been marked as special, but because someone had to do it. Stroud. You're the senior surviving Grey Warden. What do we do now? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Stroud believes that the Wardens are worth saving. And I trust him. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus, and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. After all that, you give them yet another chance? While they do that, I'll report to the Wardens at Weishaupt. We won't be caught off guard by Corypheus again. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Maker, watch over your Inquisition. It has been an honor. Did I ever tell you about the time Hawk was on a merchant guild hit list? <laughs> Hawk's uncle got into an investment scheme with a couple of merchant caste businessmen. They took a lot of people's coin in order to arrange the import of wandering hills from the Anderfells. A, a delicacy, I'm told. Their weird foreign foodstuffs arrived alive and one of them, true to its name, wandered off in the middle of the night. Traced the shipments to Hawk's uncle, but as usual, he was so far in debt he couldn't see daylight. So they went after Hawk instead. 
They sent guys from the local Carter to Hawk's estate one night. Five big dusters, armed to the teeth. They're about to kick down the door when Hawk just opened it and invites them all inside. Leandra, Hawk's mother, made them tea and for the next two hours tried to get them to make small talk. They wandered out of the house in a daze. No idea what just happened. <laughs> Never came back. Hawk just had that effect on people. I, I always wanted to tell that one. Thanks. I guess I've got some letters to write. Isabella should know. Excuse me.